Here is the amazing Pearson correlation. In fact, it's the definitional formula of the Pearson correlation. There are many other types of Pearson correlation formulae out there. Some are called computational. I find them cumbersome and not very intuitive. But this formula here, which is the definitional formula of Pearson's R, is very intuitive. And the elements consist of mostly z-scores. So the z-scores of x and the z-scores of y are multiplied together. And in the textbook, I mentioned that when the z-scores tend to hang together, such that larger positive z-values on x tend to correspond to larger positive values on y, then you start to get a lot of large positive product terms, a lot of large positive values that were multiplied between the z-scores on x and the z-scores on y. And those are summed across all of the products of zx and zy. And then that sum of cross products is divided by n minus 1. It makes more sense intuitively to divide by n, which would just be the average of the zx, zy products. But it's been found that the Pearson's correlation tends to be more accurately represented in the population when a value of 1 is subtracted from the sample size. Now this only plays a significant role when you have a very small sample size or a smallish sample size. Once you start to get up to a sample size of 50 plus, the n minus 1 doesn't have much of an impact on the value of Pearson's R. So in summary, the Pearson's R is the sum of the products of Zx times Zy divided by n minus 1. Pearson's R.